All right, hi guys. So this is video two in the review over your study guide to make sure you got the correct answers. All right, so the research team who observed the forest ecosystem from the food web also conducted a population study on mushrooms during their hike. They used three quadrants in a line, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three. So use those quadrants to answer the following questions. So each quadrant measures three meters by three meters. Calculate the total surface area of the entire sampling plot. So three times three, this one is nine meters squared and they wanna know the whole thing. So this one's nine, this one's nine, this one's nine meters squared. So nine meters squared times three equals 27 meters squared. That's your final answer. You will be expected to show your work on the study guide and on your test. So whether you're taking, you're doing the math on paper and then putting it on the thing, or if you're typing out this divided by this, that's fine either way, but you have to show your math to get all the points. Just a heads up. So if you've turned in a study guide or a test with just like 27 meters squared, you're not gonna get the points. Just heads up. All right, so the next one, change my color. What is the predicted mushroom population in a 30 meter squared area of the forest if they found six mushrooms while on their hike? So, I'm gonna write that up here. They found six mushrooms. So, if they found six mushrooms in a 27 meter squared area, then how many would they get in a 30 meter squared area? So remember, we just cross multiply. So we're gonna have 27x equals six. I don't trust my math, y'all, so. Okay, 180, 27 divided by 27 equals 6.7. We're gonna round that to seven mushrooms. Okay. So then, what is the predicted mushroom population in a 90 meter squared area of the forest? So if we had six, 27 meters squared, and we're gonna set that equal to X over 90 meters squared, do the math, 27x equals, I think it's 540, but I don't want to mess up. Yep, 540. Divide both sides by 27. Just got you some good old fashioned algebra. 20 mushrooms. Right? So we're just doing that probability math. Make sure you are use, you are showing your units, okay? Gotta show our units. And then the last question. What is the predicted mushroom population in this entire forest if the forest was 3,600 meters squared? So, same thing. Six divided by 27 meters squared. Set that equal to 3,000. 600 meters squared, do my math, 27x equals 21,600, divide by 27, divide by 27, Eight hundred. So they are going, based on this math, they can assume there are approximately 800 mushrooms in this area of woods. All right, there's that part of the review.